welcome to the Mint Report, our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. TCS earnings rise in the first quarter while Infosys falls. Industrial output remains sluggish in May and markets fall on Thursday. An interesting day for the IT industry as it records contradictory earnings from its two top players. While TCS posted strong results, Infosys slashed its guidance drastically. Infosys' growth forecast was cut to just 5% for the current fiscal. Its estimate in April was 8 to 10%. Infosys did not provide a guidance for September, an indication of how unpredictable the market is right now. Net profit dropped 1.2% to 2,289 crores, while revenue rose 8.6% quarter in quarter to 9,616. Investors reacted badly to the worse-than-expected numbers, and shares of the company got battered. They plunged 8.15% on the BSE on to 2,265. Infosys has been hurt by falling demand in its key markets, the US and Europe. Sequentially, North America fell 1.6% in Infosys books, while Europe declined 8.1%. On the bright side, some segments like retail and life sciences grew. The company added 51 new clients in the three months to June. While Infosys has lost, Tata Consultancy Services has gained. Despite the poor market conditions, India's biggest IT company did better than most expected. Consolidated net profit for the first quarter rose 14.6% quarter-on-quarter to 3,318 crores, and revenue climbed 12.1% to 14,869. Remarkably, the company says it saw growth across business segments, even from clients in the financial industry. And while TCS doesn't provide guidance, it says it will continue to beat the NASCOM forecast of 11 to 14%. TCS has now performed better than Infosys for 13 quarters in a row. Of course, the company reported its numbers after markets had closed. TCS shares dropped 1.8% on the BSE to 1,236. Amid mixed IT results, economic indicators are decidedly gloomy. New figures show factory output continues to be weak. The index of industrial production for May climbed 2.4% compared to the year-ago period. In the previous month, it contracted 0.9%. Still, the poor numbers are unlikely to prompt a rate cut from RBI. The Reserve Bank has repeatedly made it clear its focus is on containing inflation. Finally, with IT shares going into full retreat after the Infosys results, Indian markets went into the red. The Sensex lost 257 points to 17,233 and the Nifty fell 71 to 5,235. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.